Coming up next on Tara Kelly Day in the Life. A turnaround and Colby's basically falling down the mountain because he could, just got bucked off of his horse. It was crazy. I was like shaking. Oh, he's not messing around. So Lincoln is hilarious. Having him in the car and just with me today has been so fun. He has so much character and that little body of his. And guess what? Who? What? Who? Me. You? I love Chick Fil A really, too. Really, really want to go inside. I know. I wish we could go inside, but we can't because it's closed. No, I want to see. We'll see if we can, but I don't think we can. Because of the coronavirus. Coronavirus. <laughs> I think we can. I love potatoes. I hate them. I love them. I, I love them. them. I hate them. I love them. I hate them. But I love them. I love them. I hate them. I love them. I hate them. I love them. I hate them. I love them. Here we go, yeah, it's straight to rock, go round, to ah. rock, go round, to rock, go round. Okay. Are you excited for your kids' meal? Hi, is it for Tara? Yes. Awesome. Here is some water and chocolate milk. Thank you. you. My budget. I love chocolate milk. I know you it's chocolate milk. It's for you. <laughs> All right, we got rock that. Thank you. Milk. Yeah, I love chocolate milk. I know. Milk. It's my favorite. So you good. have a toy in here, Lincoln. Have a good day. You too. Can I see you? Yeah. Here, we'll eat it over here. I'll just park over here. Or we can have a little picnic. We can have a little picnic. So me and Lincoln went to Chick-fil-A. We got him some food. And then I thought that it would be really fun to go and swim in our pool right after. Sure does look like you're living the life. Okay. Okay. This is our pool. <laughs> yeah, it is. Our pool. I know. Your pool and our pool. Yeah, it's your pool too. Yeah, because... I'm just Excited. pretending. I know. Ready? Set? Go. Woo! Good job, Link. Oh. Lincoln, are you having fun? Wow. Is that your cool trick that you can do? That is awesome. Watch. What? Watch this. Wow, that water looks nice. And really. Wait, did you It's learn? really cool today. Did you learn how to swim at your swimming lessons? Sure, I did. Really? And I did it with Alex's puddle jumper. Wow, I love your puddle jumper. I think it looks so cool. What? Is your favorite thing to jump in and then jump back out? No. Wait, push off. Whoa. That is so awesome. Watch. You are so cool. Wow. That is amazing. That is so cool. I'm getting out. Lincoln, what are you doing? They're freaking in the sun. Your son basking? You're basking in the sun? Are you trying to get warm? Yeah. Is he cold? <laughs> yeah. Watching Lincoln definitely makes me want to have kids. It makes me more baby hungry, but at the same time, I'm good to wait because if I ever want to play with a kid, I will just have Lincoln come over. Do we have to go? I don't know. Ask your dad. Here. Did you have fun though? Your dad did. <laughs> I have a question for like the, I, I'm kind of getting bored of just like eating the raw vegetables. Can I like dip them in like mustard or hummus or something? Are you talking at lunch? Yeah. Uh, or so like just anytime, like if I'm, like if I'm, anytime I'm like hungry, I'll just eat like some uh, 
uh, carrots or cucumbers. So my second checkup with Total Health and Fitness was awesome. We, or I, officially lost one inch off of my waist, which is crazy because I'm very bloated right now. And I was even more bloated during my, um, my second like measurements and stuff. So I'm very excited and I've technically lost two pounds already in two weeks and or no more than that and then also an inch off my waist which i was like so excited about it's not that we're trying to make your calories lower but if mm -hmm. anything just your total fat intake mm -hmm. is toward the upper end of where we want to keep it so in the event that we can trim fat and not even have you really feel the difference i would definitely recommend doing it okay yeah when she had it i was like yes i was like so excited it's the olive oil mayo <laughs> or the avocado oil mayo they're both fine okay but i used to buy the avocado one it was so funny i literally bought the vegan one because i was like oh this is more healthy and I'm like, why did I do that? Yeah, and that's where, I mean, it really is a matter of preference because yeah. you'll find some people that will look at that as more healthy. Mm -hmm. I can definitely feel a difference with how my body's functioning when it comes to the different foods that I'm eating. I can just feel that my body, I feel a lot less, like, groggy and a lot less, um, like, my blood sugar is staying very consistent throughout the day so I don't get very hungry and just, like, hangry as often unless I'm, like, out and about for some reason and I'm stranded without food, but it's only happened, like, once. <laughs> there you go, nice. Yeah, the more you can exaggerate that, the more effectively you can track your back. So a couple more. We got a couple left. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> well, I'm okay. saying at least eight. Okay. I need to take a break. You got to do more. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we can get you like 12 though. I mean, your form's not breaking down at all. So with my clothes, I've had a few of them that I didn't love how they fit and actually the pants that I'm wearing right now is one of them and I put them on and they fit so much better. Not like to the point where I'm fully satisfied, but I'm very grateful for the progress that I have, you know, received with my body and I'm very excited about it because just being able to put on your pants after not being able to put them on is like the most rewarding feeling ever and it just feels so good even just some sort of progress like i don't i'm not even expecting a full night and day difference of how they fit and look on me but just being able to like actually put them on i am definitely to the point where i'm very excited to go work out in the morning today like i do have still have those days where i don't feel like working out but i know that if I don't do it, I'll regret it and I'll be just like on edge almost the whole day and I just won't be feeling like myself. Yeah, because as far as- I love way, that machine. <laughs> I can just feel my whole leg just like burning. Dude, my workout today was literally so hard. Is your hardest so far? My arms are said? just like jello right now. Is your hardest, would you say? Oh, it was for sure my hardest. The reason why it was so hard is because we were we weren't, I wasn't taking rests in between. I was like doing like supersets. So you like go from one machine literally to the next and then go back to the other, like, oh my gosh. It was like, you go back and forth and then you just take a rest in between like your sets. And I was like, I am literally dying. Yeah. It was intense. It was so well, intense. When do you eat again? Eat? Yeah. Um, well, I'm already supposed to eat, <laughs> so every time I go in for my, like, appointments, I'm not supposed to eat before, and since mine was at 11 today, I hadn't eaten, and I was supposed to already have eaten twice. I was already supposed to have eaten twice by then, so I'm supposed to eat lunch in 10 minutes. Shoot. I know. Can we stop first by, um, this, this polisher? And for hurry. Valen? Yeah, yeah, I just had to pick up some new test products for the matte finish for some of the puffs. How did it go? Good. <laughs> nice packaging. Yeah. Yeah, so these are some of the, um, what are they called? Matte finish ones we're testing oh, out. I want to see. Oh my gosh, that This looks one's so brass. Sick. Holy crap, that looks so dope. Yeah. Oh, that looks so cool. Wait, show me again. The water blasting looks really nice. Whoa. 
matches it really well. Yeah. Not feed the foxes. How does the guy in the pink panther talk? Is he talk? Do not feed the foxes. So me and Colby went to Yellowstone with his parents. It was super fun. It was just us four. So we drove all the way down there, and I think it was like only like a five and a half hour drive, maybe six hours. So we drove to Jackson Hole, and the first day we went and hiked around Jenny Lake, and it was so so much fun. Like what the heck? That doesn't even look real. There you are. <laughs> Wait, are we gonna take a boat? I don't think so. We're just gonna walk across it. That's cool. It does remind of Montana. Whoa. Really all over Jackson Hole, all the way up to Yellowstone, that entire Wyoming, northern Idaho, Montana area is just gorgeous. It's a great place to, to, to let yourself completely unwind and take in all the views and be one with nature, I guess you could say. So it was a, it was a really cool place. That was actually my first time in Yellowstone National Park, as well as Jackson Hole. The boys are going to walking. Oh my gosh, they are literally all the way up there. It'd be fun to do like a paddleboard or something too on the lake. Yes. That'd be so fun. It's so calm. Yeah. I totally forgot to put bugs around. Uh, I was like, cool. whoops. Looks like I'm gonna get Ian alive today. How are you feeling? Are you tired? I'm sweating really bad and I'm also wearing sweatpants because I thought we were going like a mile or two. And we've already gone two and a half miles or more. 2.6. Yeah, and you're... we haven't even walked back. And you're about to work out tonight too. So we were hiking around the lake. We hiked, I think we ended up hiking around eight miles round trip. What do you think of the waterfall? Doug, what do you think of the waterfall? <laughs> in uh, a week or two for my dad's birthday coming up here soon, we're going to be going to Park City. And Jackson Hole and Park City are kind of similar places where they both got, they're both ski towns with lots of really good eateries and obviously views. You're too gung-ho, man. <gasps> it's like he's younger than me. I do not want to get somewhere home. But they do hike a few times a week. Literally perfect weather, like sunny, not too hot, not too cold. It was perfect weather. And then all of a sudden, we're about to like start hiking back. We hadn't even started yet. And all of a sudden, just rain. And then wind. And it felt like someone was taking a BB gun and they were shooting me with the BB gun. And so me and Colby's mom are literally just running as fast as we can to get to the car. So I think we ended up running like a mile and a half, literally on the way back and we were already so tired. Okay, it's calmed down a little bit. I've been running the whole time. My pants are literally soaked. I was wearing my glasses, but they got very wet. But it's calmed down a ton crazy though like it was literally sunny a bunch of 
scruff in my hair. It was literally so sunny. And now it's like insanely windy. And there's a huge storm. Me and Doug back there. Oh, it's crazy. This is literally insane. bug in my mouth. Okay, peace out. Did you catch something? Did you get it? Just got my line instead. Oh my gosh, you got it? <gasps> really big one right here. <laughs> it's like you're an Animal Crossing. Wait, my Animal Crossing girl does have a bucket hat on right now. And I am wearing one. <laughs> so basically, we're twins. Okay, so I did not know this about Yellowstone, but apparently with Yellowstone, you literally drive. Like, you're in the car the whole time, and we probably drove over 15 hours easily just being in Yellowstone, not including the drive there and back, just because you're, you know, you have to drive into the park, and then you drive around the park each day. You poked my eye. I know, I did <laughs> Planned it. You're real sick, you know that. <laughs> got your nose. Oh, they got your eye. It was like, it was this, this fingernail. My intercourse. <laughs> Went right into your eye. You said you've been here before? Yeah, I grew up coming here all the time. We would walk around the whole park. Oh, that's cool. The whole thing. I'm down to walk around for a few minutes, but no, it starts pretty good. soon. But it can also go off like, what? it's going. Martin. Whoa, it's starting. Dude, we, good thing we didn't get freaking dinner. Isn't that crazy? It just naturally does that. Yeah. Like that is insane. I'll never be on a diet. Oh my gosh. Sorry, Tara. And then, <laughs> Whatever. Well, he goes, he, he, Doug goes, you want anything? Sun-kissed, water. Kalu goes, give me some of those cookies. And he looks at me and he goes, oh. a soft smile. Mm -hmm. Like this. Probably an elk. Well, when the day comes, this is what you want. I know. I mean, I could eat those cookies, but... Something over there. What are they looking at? I don't want, I don't want... I I'm enjoying my youth of my 20s where I can eat whatever I want, Dude. as much as I want, all day if I want. I could do the same thing, but it's anywhere. not that, it's the habit that, that, look. that is in your Let's go oh, up there. Oh, it's a bear. <gasps> Freaking bear. What? Give me your camera. No way. We're not ready. Go. Screw the cookies. Why are you eating? I need another one. Hurry up, hurry up. So on our last day in Yellowstone, we had been wanting to see a bear the entire trip and we finally got to see one and it was this really cute black bear and it was walking across this meadow and it was like the most magical thing because it just feels like you're watching them through a window almost. And Colby decided to keep following the bear with his dad for a little bit and then and then Doug left. So he decided to keep following the bear like through this like trail and I was freaking out a little bit on the inside because I was like what if this bear like decides to eat Colby for dinner or something like I don't know that was just the first thing that came through my mind yeah there's people Tara I don't know people could be coming down any second okay I'm done I think I've gone to the bathroom in the bushes like five times in two days I would actually prefer that than going in an outhouse Nature's always the best way to go. I don't really think you should touch it. Dad, was it okay? Yeah. I mean, okay. Don't touch it. Yeah, it's hot, but. I want to touch it. It feels like a hot tub. I want to touch it. It literally feels like a hot tub. It's just a hot tub. That means that's a hot tub. 
Okay, so we saw a ton of buffalo. We saw elk, we saw some deer, we saw tons of bears. It's coming this way. Okay, let's claim our spot. This is our but spot. But why do you have your window we down? Buffalo. But. Okay, if it started coming, we could move. Scares me. Okay, I don't know. All on camera. So we had this really funny experience with the first buffalo we saw. We literally are driving through and there's this huge buffalo. And it comes, when I say right next to the car, literally right next to the car. Oh, 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 he's coming down. Down, down, down. I don't know. Stop, get me the window, they will cut. Oh my gosh. Get the camera rolling. Keep holding Oh, oh, he's not messing around. Holy crap, holy crap. Don't say anything. I was so scared. I was so nervous because it was so close and those things are huge. He does not give a flip. He's old. Oh, he's so cute, but he's also really scared. Let's go. Good weather. So when we first started on the trail for riding horses, I had this like really big hat on and I thought that it was on my head really well, but it, apparently it wasn't. It was Colby and his horse right behind me and my hat flew off like mid walking up this huge mountain. So anyways, I turn around and Colby's literally like basically falling down the mountain because he could, just got bucked off of this horse. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that was literally from my hat. But it was crazy. I was like shaking. And his horse got scared. And he literally like, Colby like fell off the horse because the horse like went to his side. I'm still on mine, but yeah. <laughs> Amber got all the way up there. Crazy. Honestly, it was kind of a weird thing when I was like, when when I was bucked off the horse. I wasn't really that nervous though. Um, I don't know why, it was just one of those moments where I was just completely calm. Everybody else seemed to be more nervous around me than actually me myself. Uh, and just got right back up on the horse, just like the saying goes. Colby's getting back onto his horse now. And then there's Ember, we're putting our, I squoze my really nice hat into this bucket because I don't want it, don't want it doing that again. And I'll just have to unflatten it at the end. That was crazy. Oh, 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 oh,